assuming I know how Alan's going to progress with the show. See, I've had, I've had, uh, I finished the 12th book, it's, it, you know, my editor said that deadlocked. Um, 
So I've had 12 books to do that with Sookie, and, and Alan's, you know, going to have, you know, he's going to have another season, and maybe more after that, who knows. Uh, so Alan hasn't had as long to tell a story I've had years to tell. Um, also, Alan has to be more concise, and he has to pick the scenes that will look good on the screen rather than the internal scenes, which I think show Sookie's growth a little more. Uh, so he may be going to the same place, but taking a different route to get there. Uh, and I think Stephen is, is so fantastic in his portrayal as Bill, that I would really miss him if he were not in the series as much as he is.
they don't answer me. You know, it's weird, and that's, for us, it's an incredible thing to, we work for months and we put this thing out there and we're waiting to see how did it land. And this is one of the few places where we do get that direct feedback. And then we're also having a conversation on the set, what Alex does affects what I do, and we go into a wardrobe fitting, and she's got all this stuff in her head, Audrey, and she says, you know, well, I'm thinking that Talbot was dressing Russell, oh, that, then all of a sudden a little piece in our world goes, oh, kink. You know, and then my, our relationship, like my relationship with my scene partners, Alex, in real life, affects Pam, so everything is this nothing exists in a bubble. And so it's quite, so if your life has changed, it's impossible metaphysically for our life to not be changed. And, and so it really is something that we can't do. This is why for me, painting is an interesting thing because it's all so far, sink or swim on my own. But we don't as actors. This is, you see us up here, but we're affected by the set design that I walk into Fantasia and go, holy shit. You know, and, and I'm still fourth season this year. I look up and see this painting of a vampire, because there's a Bill Clinton vampire, and there's all these different ones, and I'm like, is that our producer, Greg, Greg Weinberg, up on the, that the someone painted? Is it, you know, and so everything is this symbiotic relationship, and we're kind of the, you know, Mick Jaggers, we're the front person, but there's roadies, and you know, and then there's you guys, and so it's really a big biosphere, you know, we've got the oceans, and the mountains, and it all, not, nothing can exist without the rest of those pieces. I think we've got time for one more quick audience question. Okay. Um, being from the South, it's more often than not painfully obvious when people are doing Southern accents on film and movies. But with Trilla, it's so good, like I don't even notice it. Um, do you guys find it difficult or do you practice or what do you do to practice and get ready? And, and does it ever come out like when you're not shooting? <laughs> every, every character you do gives you a new thing. It's like years ago I did this character um, uh, who had a, a finger twitch. I did Mercutio, Romeo and Juliet. And uh, the character did this. And that became part of my, my life. And then I, and I, I did the character that did they kind of inform you. And so uh, I've never attempted this other night before. And I did a lot of study. And I had a great dialect coach. And I did a lot of tapes. I based mine partly on um, Haley Barber. Mostly preaching to the choir because uh, 
I don't think I'm getting too many brand new readers with the, you know, 12th and 13th books. Uh, I think they're going to be pretty bewildered uh, because there's no way I can work all the backstory. You know, it would take a page for each character to get their backstory in there, so you just kind of have to fly with it. Uh, but I still try to have a good opening that will draw people into Suki's new adventure and uh, introduce them to her world and her way of thinking pretty quickly. So, yeah, it's, it's still a lot of work. There's no easy way to write a book. Every time it's hard. Thank you so much for coming out, Charlie, and thank you all for coming.